Answer. Can we talk about bras? Yes, we can. So bear in mind, this is a Sunday article, you know, so it's more of a thought piece. Um, so it's why a generation has turned its back on the bra. You see, uh, obviously, um, the younger generation are not that interested in the mamouflage that one would wear these days. You have the older ladies who regularly don the over-the-shoulder boulder holder. But the younger generation, they've decided that the... Uh, the rack rack, rack pack, we'll go with rack pack. I'll the rack that. pack I've, is I've not for them. I saw that in the West End, what talented <laughs> singers they are. The rack pack is not for them. Uh, they've decided that the balloon cocoons are something that they can put on or take off. Um, but it means obviously there's, there's a knock on effect. Hmm. Uh, because obviously, for example, in 2011, uh, you had the Canadian policeman say, if you don't want to be victimised, don't dress like a slut. And then that led to the slut walks, where the women walked through the streets wearing their bras, saying, well, you know, don't, I shouldn't be a victim for what I wear. And I think that this article is trying to point out that um, older women will be saying, look, you need to wear a bra because your nipples are on display, my darling, and it might send out a message. Whereas the younger women are saying, if I don't want to wear a bra, I'm not going to, and I shouldn't have to change what I'm doing because it's, I'm not, it's not my fault. I'm not the victim. We're not victim blaming. I don't think I'm making myself... Well, no, definitely. Clear. Basically, a woman is not being sexual by wearing items of clothing yes. that do not cover her anatomy. Like, as you yes, say, the mamouflage, as you call it, because that's partly the function of a bra, especially a padded bra, is to more or less hide a woman's shape, right? To hide her form. It's certainly to, yeah, to alter the form. And it can make your clothes look better. It can mm. reduce backache. Like, there's, there's actually a whole um, heap of reasons to wear a bra, and it stops you getting saggy boobs because um, the skin can stretch. Oh, is and that, that right? can be quite painful. Mm. Oh, I see. Yeah, I mean, I'm wearing a very tight T.M. Lewin shirt, which is bringing the nips out, which, <laughs> I will be honest with you, is great for ratings. Um, People I, turn on I, just to see them. I get, I get mail. But, <laughs> I mean, look, it, it, it's a very, very generational thing, isn't mm. it? Uh, what's your view? Well, my view is I've always loved a bra, um, and, uh, but I know many people who don't. And in lockdown, exacerbated that. Suddenly there are a lot of women going on Instagram going, I am never wearing a bra again. And it's nothing to do with sort of the protests of the 1970s saying this is a patriarchal item. Because oh, they used to get burned, right, the bra? Yeah, we're going to burn our upper deck of flopper stoppers. We're going to get rid of them. But this is instead just people going, no, they're not very... Uh, some people think they're not very comfortable. Personally, I find mine very comfortable. Well, if I don't wear one, I start to get an ache, so I put one on. I, so I think, I see. yeah, it's interesting. Is the saggy, is that, is that a, a myth? Is that an old No, no, that is, that, that it's called, uh, I think, something like uh, somis or something like mm. that. Uh, it, you, your breast tissue will actually sag because, obviously, there's Gravity. weight to it. Right, yeah. I see. Uh, Nick Dixon, I know you've got a lot to say on bras. Well, I think Diane's covered it very well. As you know, Mark, I'm a, I'm a feminist. <laughs> covered it very well, indeed. I'm a, that wasn't even a pun, I was just, just, just gifted. Um, <laughs> As you know, I'm a feminist, Mark, so I say women should be allowed to wear what they want, except in the workplace where they shouldn't be at all. That's my, that's my position. Can I say that, Diane Spencer, I did work with a young woman um, in television maybe 15 years ago, and she came to work sans the bra, without the bra. Right. Um, we're all professionals. Mm. Is this how you got known, known as Pincher? Well, <laughs> I was Groper Dolan for a while, but, no, no, what happened is that this lady, very good at her job, brilliant mm. professional, nice person, but she just was not wearing a bra and she was wearing a very, very tight blouse and it was enough to take your eye out, is what I'm going to say. Oh, right, OK. Um, and yeah. this was just, it, there was consternation in the office and speak, people speaking in hushed tones. Yeah. So what happened in the end, in the afternoon... And there was no harassment. No one said anything. We're all very British about it. Like, nothing to see here. Bloody hell. And uh, a female <laughs> colleague, an older female colleague, who was wearing a boob hammock, said uh, to this lady, um, listen, pop a cardi on because it's a bit of a revealing outfit. Right. So and, what did she, and what did the other woman she say? She said, oh, I had no idea. She was absolutely mortified. Oh, really? She was mortified.
Now, that is interesting because obviously there are, there are free the nipple campaigns and uh, there are people who, who there's a, even an Instagram account which actually uh, shows a nipple and doesn't say what gender it's from because Instagram will not let you show a female nipple, will let you show a male nipple. So there you go. Crazy So that's days, interesting. Isn't it? Uh, that's how she reacted. Whereas a younger woman might say, so what? They're my nipples and maybe other people shouldn't look. Uh, so shall we, shall we do sort of the full stop to this?